Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to mine Ravencoin using the brand new algorithm called Kapow. Uh, so this is a Ravencoin fork. It's gonna be happening during this month, uh, the month of April, 2020. We're not too sure exactly when it's gonna be happening, but it is gonna be happening sometime soon. So I wanted to make this video for you guys to show you exactly how you mine Ravencoin using the new Kapow algorithm and basically get a head start on everyone else. So I'm showing you this um, today. It's currently the 2nd of April. Um, we're gonna be using the Ravencoin testnet, um, but what this will enable you to do is basically get your miners and get everything set up and ready to get going. As um, soon as this fork happens, you will be able to jump onto the mining algorithm straight away and basically get a head start on everyone else. So that's the plan, that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do it today. Uh, just before we get started, it is a GPU mineable coin. Um, slightly different uh, with this one versus other algorithms. It's a derivative of the prog pow algorithm, but this one is not so biased against Nvidia um, hardware, so you should get a good uh, performance even if you've got AMD cards, even the older AMD cards as well. So it's a lot more uh, fairly distributed. So AMD and, G uh, and Nvidia miners, um, you're all gonna get on really well with this. Okay, so let's uh, jump into it. Okay, so we're on my Windows uh, desktop and I'll show you how to start mining. So there's two miners that are available uh, for this at the moment. One is Gminer that has a 2% dev fee and there's another one which is uh, built by the Ravencoin uh, dev team. Um, that doesn't have a dev fee, but it's only a single miner. It only supports one algorithm. Uh, and there was also a little bit more complicated to use. I had to download some DAL files and stuff. I'll show you both and you can determine which is uh, best for you and your operating system or your hardware, etc. So we'll open up our browser and I'll show you where to download these. So we'll start off with the um, G miner. So I'll, of course, as always, I'll put a link in the video description to help you guys get set up but it's the Gminer release and it's the GitHub link in the video description and I'll be downloading, I've, in fact I've already downloaded this Gminer 2.04 with the Windows 64 version, obviously there's a Linux version as well. So download that to get started and I'll show you what it looks like. So then we go to our downloads folder. I'll assume you already just select the zip file and extract it and then we'll go into the Gminer folder. So the good thing about Gminer is they provide lots of sample batch files for you to get started with, and then you just basically add in your own uh, wallet address and it's really easy for you to start. So we'll scroll down, I've created this one, I've just edited it, and then we want to right click and go to edit. And I'll just break down the miner for you. This one is a really simple a one line uh, configuration. So it's a call to the miner, the algorithm is Kapow, the server, you might see a slightly different variations for the server configuration, but I've done it like this. And it's in this case, it's RVNT. The T indicates that it's a testnet server. So any coins that you mine on this are not the real Ravencoin coins. They're only on testnet, not on the main net. So you basically won't be able to spend them. There's no, there's no value to them. When the test net, uh, when, sorry, when the fork happens and the, and the, uh, the new uh, proof of work algorithm algorithm goes live um, all you need to do is just basically remove this t and then continue mining like that whenever that fork happens so that's really the only difference that you need to uh, make there so double check make sure your server address is correct i'm using the minor more um, pool the next part is your username so it's your ravencoin wallet address then we've got a full stop or a period and then your worker name or nickname whatever you want to use rig one rig two however you like it, and that's that's really um, it, really quite simple. So from there you can start up the, the batch file, so we'll just double click it, and it should start up like this, so we're using Gminer here. You can see it connects to the Raven uh, Quine testnet, 2% dev fee, our wallet address, make sure that's in there, password is X, is default, uh, all your other basic settings, and then it's gonna connect to the pool, generate a DAG file, and then it will start mining. So what you want to be looking for is accepted shares. You'll still get those same as you would um, any other normal mining pool. And you'll also get a hash rate. So with this machine, I've got a 1080 Ti and just on standard uh, clock settings, uh, I was uh, getting a hash rate of around 22 and a half mega hashes. I see some other reports of up to about 25 mega hashes, but um, they're the kind of the results uh, that I was able to achieve. So there obviously go to the mining pool 
and then you're up on uh, mining. So you can see we've got our first accepted share there. I won't show you any more on that. So basically that's it, you're up and running mining a Ravencoin on the testnet. And uh, there are my performance figures. I'll show you the other miner as well, uh, just in case you guys get any slightly uh, better results uh, with that. So the other miner is the one that's been developed by the Ravencoin uh, dev team, and it's this KPOW miner. So again, links in the video description, I'll put that there for you. Download it, I downloaded the CUDA 10.2 uh, zip version for uh, Windows. At the moment, I don't believe there's an OpenCL or AMD version for Windows just yet, but there probably will be in the very near future. So I've downloaded that, obviously to our downloads folder, and then I've extracted it. So the difference with this one is when I extracted it, I only had the mount, uh, sorry, the minor program itself. There was no batch files to get started with, and also it's also missing these DLL files. So what to get those? I actually copied them from the Gminer folder and just copied them across into here. So if you're missing those, yeah, look for one of your other miners that supports CUDA, and you'll probably find, like I say, I just copied them from my Gminer folder and then created a new batch file. I'll show you what this one looks like. It looks slightly different. So it's kpanminer.exe dash u dash p. So the thing here is like, you would normally have a username and password, but here that configuration doesn't work. The, I, I guess it's just the coding. But then you have the, uh, the pool, so straight in plus TCP, your wallet address for Ravencoin, a nickname again, and then at, and then after the at sign, it's Ravencoin, the testnet pool, which is there. And just in the last line, I added pools um, because you're more likely to get an error with this miner than you are with anything else. Like I say, the first error I got was that I was missing the DOL files. The next error I got was that I was missing the correct configuration. So adding that pools in there just helps you um, troubleshoot. So once that's done, you can start up that miner and I'll show you how this one looks as well. So it looks slightly different, but essentially it produces the same uh, information. You want to be looking for accepted shares and uh, hash rate. With this uh, KPAM miner, um, I got a slightly lower hash rate, it's about one mega hash um, slower. So it might be improved and optimized um, nearer the time of the fork, um, but that was just my results uh, based with this miner. So you can see there we've got our first accepted shares and we're just under 20 and I tested it previously. It was about 21, so like I say, one, about one mega hash slower than the G-Miner. Um, and as far as I'm aware, there's no uh, dev fee uh, for this miner. So uh, from my personal testing, I would say the G-Miner is the, is the better option to go with um, at present. So I'll just show you how it looks on the mining pool that we're mining to. So it is uh, the Miner More pool, and this is uh, owned and operated by one of the Raven Quen uh, developers. So you can see here there's uh, a few different pools that are supported and the one that we're mining to is the testnet pool. So it's down here. We select that. So it just shows you the pool hash rate and that hash rate uh, workers. Obviously not very many workers, there's only a few people on the testnet. Uh, shows you how your uh, minor configuration should look blocks over the last periods of time, etc. And then down here you can see the miners that are currently mining. So you can see uh, my name starting to come up now. So we've got I mine blocks, I mine blocks. Uh, so that's the address I'm using. And if we select it, your address, you can see your workers, uh, some details, balance, etc. And you can also see how many blocks you would have found. 16 blocks, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, but like I say, any any earnings that you earn here on the Ravencoin testnet are just for testing. There's no, uh, there's no value to them. So this is really all about getting you guys ready so that when the fork happens, you can switch your miners over really quickly, get up and running, get a head start on everyone else, mine those early blocks, and hopefully you'll make some um, extra Ravencoin. So that's it for this video. So I know I've kind of like skimmed through it, gone through really quite quickly. It might be a bit too quick for you, but um, I want to just kind of cram this in. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys like it, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.